local people. Important issues. CBS 10 WILM's weekly focus on the Lower Cape Fear region. This is Byline Wilmington with your host, Don Enzel. Uh, welcome and good morning. Well, after 36 years with the new Hanover County School System, Athletic Director Joe Miller has announced his plans to retire amid a barrage of controversy. He joins us today to talk about his career, the issues surrounding his announcement, and his plans for the future. Don, how are Coach, you? Coach, great to, to see, see you. Good to see you again. Thanks so much for coming in. So let's begin with uh, how your 36 career, uh, 36 year career at New Hanover in the New Hanover County School System, school system began. Well, actually, uh, Don, you know, uh, I kind of came here on a, I was a last resort kind of speaking. I was coaching in, in Kansas at, uh, at Kansas State and our staff got fired and I had previously coached in Georgia and Florida and a friend of mine mentioned there possibly was a job open in Wilmington. So uh, my wife being from Winston-Salem, uh, we made a swing by through Wilmington and a legendary Leon Brogdon and Coach Buck Hardy uh, interviewed me and eventually I ended up what coming to Wilmington. What year was that? That was 1974. And so they hired you, obviously. Yes. Um, to coach at uh, New Hanover? At New Hanover. So Coach I, football? I started out, I was an assistant at uh, uh, football at New Hanover because they just hired a new head coach, uh, John Thomas from Raleigh. And uh, basically, uh, you know, having coached in college, I, my plan was to stay in just ball. one one year and move back into college ball. But, you know, when you change states, trying to get reestablished and things, and then one year went to two year, and uh, then we started uh, our, our family, and uh, I got the head coaching job the third year. And What, what drew you to coaching? Sir? What drew you to coaching? What? Well, uh, my... I guess the background of my family uh, and uh, where I grew up in Pennsylvania, uh, my uncle was a coach and had a lot of coach and a lot of athletes in my family and it, it just uh, something I've always, uh, you know, kind of wanted to do and enjoyed doing, enjoyed working with kids and obviously love sports. Yeah. Um, so, so coach that became head coach, New Hanover, how did all this evolve into the, the current position of athletic director? Uh, well, you know, I think it was about 20, 20 years, yeah, 74 to 94. In 94, uh, Mike Brown uh, left as a New Hanover County Schools athletic director, and uh, I decided to, at that time frame, maybe to move into the administrative end of, uh, of athletics. So I applied for the county athletic director's job. And was that a hard decision? Leaving. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, when you've coached your whole career and your whole life, and, and been very active in sports, that probably was the hardest thing. I know uh, the first, the first year I used to get in my car and sit in Williston's parking lot and watch New Hanover practice, without going on the field to you know your presence would they be... interfere with them or anything, right. just to see what they were doing and. Uh, you know, time kind of heals everything, and, it, and now I go to all games and do some things. But uh, it was very, very hard the first few years. And, you know, you kind of get into a regiment where you're uh, very structured, and, you know, you have uh, the two-a-day, three-day practices. You're, you know, you're in the weight room, you're in this and that. And I know when I first started down at uh, Central Office, everybody was leaving and going home at 4 o'clock, and I was looking around like, because coaches don't get home till seven o'clock or eight o'clock, you know. Where's everybody going? It's everybody's going home. So I would sneak out to some practices. Now, we, there's a lot of controversy, and we'll talk about that Title IX issue. Um, there's been criticism about uh, about the the AD salary. Actually, I think uh, school board member Elizabeth Redenbaugh was quoted as saying that it didn't pass the smell test. I think that was the quote. Well, what are your comments about that? Well, I don't quite know what the smell test is. Uh, you know, and... and of course, who sets the salary? Yeah, you know, and the, the salary. The only thing I know, Dawn, on some of that, and, you know, I, 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 I'm trying not to get uh, involved in, uh, in any kind of bitterness or anything like that. We, you know, we are benchmarked against 10 or 12 other large systems in the state, and I think just, you know... My, my salary's in the middle of the pack, uh, so it's not blowing the top of the charts off. 
uh, uh, you know, I, and that's, I'll just leave it at that. You know, I, I'm not quite sure what the smell test is, but. Uh, There's also discussion about whether the county really needs an athletic director to, uh, at all. Do yeah. they? Oh, I, I, yeah, I think they'll be making a horrendous mistake by doing away with this position. Uh, right now, there are 68 city county athletic directors in the state of North Carolina. Uh, New Hanover County Schools had one since Coach Brogdon. And, you know, some of the things that, that, that the job entrails is, you know, you're in the loop with everything within the state, the North Carolina High School Athletic Association and uh, rules, realignment. There are just so many things that uh, it is an extremely important position. Well, what happened if they eliminated it? I'm, you know, that's kind of what we're getting ready to find out, it looks like. Do you uh, think that's going to happen? Uh, I don't know whether it'll be eliminated or put on hold until economic times get a little bit better. I'm not really sure, and I probably would be admiss to, uh, uh, you know, to Spec comment on that, speculate on that right now because I will not be in a loop on that. Um, there's certainly a number of things that go on within my position that is going to have to be covered. And, uh, you know, the one, the one thing that I, I think is important with the county athletic direct, director's position that kind of has gotten missed in all this stuff is, you know, we have seven middle schools soon to have eight that have ten sports at each middle school. And, you know, somebody's got to kind of direct that and run that. The same thing with the four high schools. You know, are the four, is everybody going to be able to get along? You kind of have to have somebody to give some directions because not everybody's going to agree on everything. You know, with, uh, is, uh, is uh, you know, somebody got to be kind of leading the ship. So whether I'm here or not, uh, I certainly think that's a, that's a position that's critical to the, to the county. We're going to come back and talk uh, more with uh, <laughs> legendary coach Joe Miller, athletic director for New Hanover County Schools. Talk about Title IX when we come back. Stay with us.